Hi, boys and girls. Our book for today is called Ray by Mariana Copo. And we got this book because we read Petra earlier on this channel. We loved it so much. We had to get her other book. We borrow this book from the Central Skagit Library. At the end of the hall, near the staircase, there's a closet. Inside lives Ray. Oops. Flip the switch, please. That's better. So this is Ray. Ray has seen better days and worse ones too. But now this is his home. It isn't much. The closet goes from here to there. That's it. Inside, there are all sorts of things. When he's bored, rather often, Ray counts them. Once he counted as many as 43 things. Ray's favorite things are book covers, Tom the Spider, and secret hideouts. The closet, the things, and even Tom the Spider often disappear. Ray does not like this. Darkness is boring if you don't know how to fill it. So boring that Ray usually slips into a dreamless sleep. Time goes by and things change, but not very much. Then one day, Ray feels his head spin. He feel, feels upside down. And then strangely light. The closet is gone. In its place, there is another place. Ray can't tell where it begins or where it ends. He tries counting what he sees, but there are just too many things. And Ray can only count to 41. He recognizes some things. Christmas trees, not one, but many. A very long scarf <laughs> and a giant vase. Sadly, no sign of Tom the Spider. But everything is big, super big. And Ray has never felt so small. Everyone is asleep now, except for Ray. For once, he has something better to do. Look, a shooting star. Make a wish. Ray has just made one too. Obviously, I can't tell you what he wished for. The moment Ray finally falls asleep, something happens. When he wakes up, right there in front of him shines the biggest light bulb in the world. Ray is glowing. The closet is right where he left it. Only Tom the spider has moved. Everything is exactly the same. But for Ray, it's another world entirely. That was a cute book. All right, boys and girls, we hope you enjoyed that book. Have a great day.